I was in my house and the rain was coming down and I heard rumbling and the ground shaking. Linda Budkowski didn't expect to get any damage from Hurricane Ida because she lives on one of the highest points in Yonkers. And my husband and I looked at each other, what, what's going on? And uh, we didn't know, but then we went outside and my neighbors next door said, your wall came down. Ida's force brought her retaining wall down. Each one of those bricks, she says, weighs 100 pounds each. Damage like this is why a disaster recovery center now sits at the Will Grinton Library. There are uh, multiple, multiple uh, places that you can get help from the city, from the county, from the state. And if you're a small business that can't get uh, FEMA funds, you can get small business loans. Different services and agencies are readily available from mental health services to the Red Cross. We want to help out and we want everybody who had suffered any damages to come here and to recover as soon as possible. Linda doesn't know if her insurance is covering the damage yet, which she estimates to be at least $6,000. So she's starting the process here now, just in case. I think it's really convenient for the residents. It's really great to be able to, you know, just drive up here and get information and not have to stay on a phone for hours waiting. And FEMA will be here at the library seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And for undocumented individuals, if they have children under the age of 18 who were born here in the United States, they can still register for FEMA, but under their children.